Hi there, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how to resolve this blue screen of death you might be getting on your Windows 7 machine. Hope you find this guide useful. If you do, please help me out by subscribing to my channel. Okay, so down the bottom here we can see this is um, a blue screen of death I saw on one of my machines at work. Uh, down the bottom left, uh, this is the biggest um, or most helpful information on this page. Uh, I know by looking up on Google that this uh, file is used by the network device in the system so what we need to do is we first of all need to look at the device driver now I've actually got Windows 10 here but um, I'm going to show you on, on my machine here but the same process is going to work exactly the same way in Windows 7 so what you need to do is click on your uh, start menu type in device manager open up the device manager application now the first thing we need to do is expand the network adapters uh, folder and here we can see I've got an Intel Pro 1000 MT uh, network adapter so the first thing we need to do is update the driver um, it's possible that there's some sort of a bug or maybe the, the driver's corrupted itself so if you just right click on there and go to properties click on the driver tab so we can see here the driver version is 8.4.13 so what I would do is I'd head over to Google uh, I'll Google Intel Pro 1000 MT uh, Windows 7 driver um, hopefully there'll be a newer driver so there might be an 8.5 or 8.6 so just download that uh, to your machine then click on update driver uh, click on browse um, my computer for driver software um, just browse to the folder that you downloaded the software to uh, follow the prompts to update the driver and then reboot your machine if there's not a newer driver or you can't find a driver for your network adapter the next best thing to do is click on uninstall device and then click on OK and restart your machine uh, what that's going to do is it's going to remove the device driver from your machine and then the next time you log into Windows it's going to automatically reinstall that driver for you again so it's going to put the driver on the system cleanly for you next thing we need to do is run a check disk what a check disk is going to do is it's going to check your C drive, your operating system for any corrupt files and it's going to fix them. So if you open up uh, File Explorer, click on this PC on the left hand side, right click on the C drive and go to Properties, uh, click on Tools and then click on Error Checking and then click on Scan Drive. Uh, in Windows 7 it will prompt you if you want to restart your machine, uh, just click Yes. Um, on the next boot up it's going to run a check disk um, on your system, it's going to search for any corrupt files and it will automatically fix them. Um, once that's completed it will boot back to the desktop and hopefully the error would have uh, disappeared. Ok, if you've got any questions please post them in a the comment below, but thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.